Happy summer, you guys. Can you believe that it is already summer? It seems like 2024 just started and here we are already in the middle of summer, which is insane. Speaking of that, how are your goals coming along this year? How many things that you said you were going to do in 2024 have you done yet? Just keeping that in mind. We'll come back to that later. Anyway, if you guys are listening to this on my podcast, you can just skip this part. If you guys are watching this on my YouTube, I say this because I got a new gimbal type thing and my camera is a little funky now. It kind of, it, it does what it wants to do and not necessarily what I want it to do, except for when I want it to do it. I don't know. It, it's weird because I haven't really figured it out yet. I'm not really techie with this stuff. I'm learning. Wow, it's, you know what's funny is, and I'm sure a lot of you guys get this because my niche is helping entrepreneurs build their dream business. We get this idea to start a business, right? And we think it's going to be like hard. We think it's going to be hard and we go into it knowing that it's probably going to be the hardest thing we've ever done in our life. And then we realize that it is literally the hardest thing we've ever done in our life. And we question every single day why we're doing this. Why? Because we're having to learn just everything, everything. We're learning everything. Things that we never thought we would ever need to learn, we are learning. And then a million things more that we never even questioned that we would have to learn because it just, things that you never, ever, ever, ever thought would come into learning. Yeah, here you are. Anyway, where was I going with that? Yeah, that's, that's just what my camera is doing. So if you're questioning why it's like moving, that's why. Or if it does some other funky thing that I'm not aware of yet, <laughs> that's what it's doing. Anyway, this thing is also really, really cool though. I I would say I recommend it, but I, this is literally my first time using it. So I, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see where this goes. I digress. Where I was gonna go with this episode is kind of piggyback off of the last one I think it was that I did and I was talking about basically people who are just trying to tear you down for like no reason and well that's that's my point right there they tear you down for what seems like no reason but what I've come to realize is And I think we all know this on some level. It just doesn't really register with us because we're always offended when people do tear us down because it's, it's insulting. I'm not going to say it's not. It's funny because they try to make you out to be this nobody, which is funny to me too, because I know for a fact that I am not a nobody. There my camera goes, just turning off for literally no reason. I don't know why. I just did that. But anyway, I know that I am not a nobody. There are a lot of things that I will say openly that I question that I am or that I am capable of, but I know that I am not a nobody. I have way too much evidence, data, um, receipts to back that up. Okay, (laughs) sorry, my brain is like all over the place. But as I said that out loud, I just felt... I kind of chuckled because I felt called out by saying that out loud because, you know, every time somebody says something out loud that they know that like, oh, well, I, I know I ain't ugly. It's like, actually, you kind of are now that you say that out loud. Do you remember Amber and the Love is Blind show? <sighs> That's where my brain went when I said that. She was so full of herself. And honestly, I thought she was hot at first. I thought she was cute. Until she started talking about how hot she was. And she just goes, I ain't ugly. And I was like, you know what? You kind of are, actually, now that you... And it's weird because I don't know if that's my own insecurity talking on some level. And I'm not just saying this, like, regarding me. But, like, the way we view people when they start talking about the things that they know they are capable of. Is it our own insecurity talking to be like, your confidence kind of 
infuriates me? Or is it the fact that it's just so douchey to just be like, full of them, that they're so full of themselves, that it's, you know what I mean? And especially because I have had many friends in my life who would talk about how nice they were, and that was just their pride and joy. They're just, but I'm nice. I'm so nice. And every time they would talk about that, it would remind me of how actually rude they were. And they were trying to cover up for the fact that they were so rude by trying to convince people that they were nice or generous or thoughtful or anything along the lines of that. That's the exact thing that they were not, that they were trying to cover up. (laughs) Have we not all come across people like this? And don't get me wrong. These people that think that they're not ugly, they're not ugly. They're definitely not ugly. They're nowhere on the scale of ugly But they're not exactly attractive to me either when they start talking like that. I say this because when I talk about me being happy with my achievements or whatever, to know that I am not a nobody, it makes me feel like, is that true though? You know, because people could come at me and be like, so let's see your doctorate degree to prove that you're not a nobody don't have one. (laughs) They're like, well, let's see your master degree. I plead the fifth. And you know, then they can just be like, well, how can you prove that you're not a nobody then? Like that you have X, Y, Z, whatever. And I can say, you know what? I know that I'm smart enough to have not wasted that many years of my life at college and to actually just start working for myself Very early on, why is this camera turning? Very early on in my life and do things that are actually going to make me a lot more money than a degree ever would have. You know, they might get it, they might not. And it's honestly, it just comes down to different strokes for different folks. Which I think is partly why so many people feel so much inferior to to us, to me, to, you know, what I was saying in my last episode is that, you know, I had this friend that would just try to tear me down for literally no reason and just would go to the extremes to do it. But this person was not in a good place. And it was kind of funny, actually, because the other day my friend was trying to talk me out of this career. Which, and I was like, okay, first of all, this is what I want to do. Like, this is what I want to do. There is no going back. There is no negotiating this. This is what I'm doing. And I'm like, even if it doesn't take off to the extent that I want it to right away, this is what I'm doing. I'm like, there, I'm not saying by any means that I'm even questioning if this is what I should be doing. You know, I'm like, this is what I am doing. There is no questioning if this is what I should be doing, like, I'm just, I'm like, why are you even coming at me about this? This is weird to me that you're trying to talk me out of my career that I'm not even telling you that I'm debating on doing or whatever, because I'm not. So I'm kind of just like, why are you trying to talk me out of this? And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to look at this objectively and be like, you know, I guarantee you this person is not happy with their career or whatever they're doing with their life that they feel the need to come at mine. That's literally just not taking off. Like it it hasn't even barely been, it hasn't even been a year at this point. Like I, I am not failing because it's not where I want it to be yet. And I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to give it like a couple days and I guarantee you this person's going to start complaining to me about their job. I guarantee it. And that's why they're attacking mine because mine is at least grounded. Literally the next day, the next day, that person quit their job. And I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? And I was really trying to not, you know, let myself feel attacked or anything by this comment and just really reflect it back to them. But not not verbally, but just 
by watching it to see what would happen and that's what happened. And I'm like, okay, this is a really, really, really good data point. Here's another great example. Someone in my life very, fairly recently and I got into a disagreement and it was honestly really stupid. <laughs> and this person just went off, literally went off on all of these reasons as to why this person doesn't support me as a life coach based on something that I said. And I was just like, kind of taken back, not even in the sense that this person didn't support me as a coach, because I'm like, okay, that honestly offends me the least because you're just not my, not my ideal client. Because what's cool about coaching is you can literally choose your clients. And I'm just like, okay, you're just, you're just not it. Like, cause if you don't support me, I, I, you're not somebody that I want to work with. But it was the fact that this person just went off and then just didn't stop going off on all of these reasons as to why they don't support me. And I'm like, it, it, what hurt me the most is the audacity, the blatant audacity, because that is something that is so out of my character. Like, even if I did not support someone and what they were wanting to do and or doing, like, okay, my friends that stream, I have absolutely no interest. I can't even explain how much I do not like video games. I don't, I just don't. Like, it's not my thing at all. I, I don't, like, I don't enjoy it. I support my friends that want to do that full time. I support that spirit, but I'm like, but what you want to go into, I, it is over. I don't, you know, it's not my thing, but I don't bash them because that's what they want to do. You know, even if they had like a bad game, if they're not like the greatest player or something, and that's what they wanted to go into, I'm not going to bash it. I'll say, you know, you'll, you'll work on it. Okay. Start somewhere. Right? Like there's no wrong answer in my opinion as to that being what they want to do unless it is you know just bashing the fact that that's what they want to do and so the the audacity that this person had to just come at me like that and just be like this is why I would never support you and then just goes off um I, I just didn't even know what to say. I literally, I don't even still really know what to say, but I'm just bringing this up because to me, it just says how insecure this person must be truly to just go off like that. And I know we've all experienced this in some level because if my, if I, knew, I was trying to even come up with an example, like the best example that I can come up with is my friends that stream. And even still, I would never say that to them. But like if I had a friend that wanted to start a flower shop, something that maybe I was like a little bit more intimidated by, a little bit, I, I don't know, like what would even intimidate me? If I had a friend that wanted to go into fire spinning or like acrobat stuff, something that like genuinely interests me, I would still be like, do it. Like I want friends that are trying to aspire to be better like in doing that type of thing um but yeah even if it intimidates me I would never say like I would never support you doing that because of something that you just said especially yeah like something that's not even really relevant to what you want to do but something that they said like if they opened up about like an insecurity or something like that be like this is why I would never support you doing that because clearly you just don't have it in you excuse me who would I be to say that who is this person to say that to me honestly I've literally had podcasts made about me like not necessarily great ones, but the fact that, I mean, I am apparently having some sort of an impact on people enough to the point that, that they feel the need to make a podcast about me. I've had um, people make tattoos inspired by me. I know that's weird flex, but okay. 
Again, just the fact that I'm a, I'm apparently impacting people in such a way. I, I have nothing. But the fact that most people do not have that going on in their life. People may try and tear us down because they see us as a threat, because they see us as stable. They see us as, yeah, literally just unwavering that we are comfortable in doing what we're doing and not feeling like we need to to like quit or not do it. I'm a very, it's weird because I don't really feel like I'm all that stable. Like I feel like I'm mentally just all over the place and emotionally just kind of blah. But I don't leave jobs. I don't usually leave jobs. I don't usually leave friendships. I kind of just like, I don't leave houses. I don't leave towns very much. Like it's just, it, I'm very stable and like grounded in that sense. And if I commit to something, I am in it for the long haul. I am not just testing the waters to see if I want to jump back out. And I think a lot of people are this way and they feel very threatened by people who are stable. And yeah, try to tear it down, of course, because why would they not feel threatened by that? And also it's kind of that hail and nail example that I did. Was it like a month or two ago? Of they'll, They might applaud you when you start doing it, but then if it actually stays consistent, then they're going to start nailing you. And telling you that, actually, I don't think you should be doing this. Why? And it's funny that people try to tear us down and say, like, you're just a nobody. And, and just say, they just try to tell you all of the things that you are not. And why do they do this? Because if what they are telling you is really how they feel about you, if they genuinely see you as a nobody and a loser and a this and that and yada yada and a failure and you're going nowhere, why on earth would they feel the need to tell you that? Because when you look at people who are genuinely failing and genuinely going nowhere and are genuinely losers, people who are homeless on the side of the road, who are sleeping next to a store downtown outside in a sleeping bag or whatever blankets people who are just literally going nowhere who have given up who have just they have nothing to their name they're just what they are you don't see people going up to them and telling them how much of a loser they are and how much they are failing and how they're just a nobody and uh, oh you think that you're whatever you think you might be but let me just tell you you're not do you ever see anyone doing that never in my life have I seen that and you know if anyone actually did do that to them the audacity the audacity, seriously. I mean, clearly that person is not okay. And the audacity to just go up to them and say it. Like, I'm saying that on here myself because I know that these people are not watching my videos. <laughs> you know? They're not They're not watching my YouTube. They're not listening to my podcast. There's no way. But you don't see people do that. Why? Because... They know that they don't need to because they are literally a nobody, that there is no point. They don't feel any inferior whatsoever to those people. No inferior. They don't feel the need to tear them down because by all means, they are not a threat. They come for somebody who is above them in some way, whether it's even in ways that you might feel you are above them. They see you as a threat. Maybe you're just more stable. Just you have yourself together and you are in touch with yourself. And that is something that they don't have. People who are just lashing out, trying to tear you down and be just awful. They are not in touch with themselves. I guarantee it. There's no way because, because truly if they were in touch with themselves and in tune with themselves... They would hate themselves to the point that they would make themselves change. 
if they had to literally face themselves and be like, this is what I, I, they couldn't do it. When I first moved out here into the country and I was living alone, which if you've ever lived alone, you know, it's hard. It, ugh, it, there is nothing like living alone, especially living alone in the pandemic and especially in the country where I feel like anything that is not authentic just stands out like a clown in the middle of the fields. Just, you, yeah. <laughs> Moving, when I first came out here, I had blue hair. And I just was like, I need to change this. This is not going to work out here. This is not, nope. And... Yeah, I mean, I faced myself to the ultimate extremes and realized I needed to change about just about everything about myself. And I'm still working on myself every single day, but I am a hell of a lot better today than I was when I first moved out here a few years ago. Because I realized that I could not face myself and bear to be with myself the way that I was. And a quote that I think that I kind of trademarked is... I think that people get into relationships, and I know this is so not related, people get into relationships because they are terrified to face themselves. And it's a lot easier to identify ourselves behind somebody else than to just face ourselves and be alone with ourselves because it is that terrifying. It's that terrifying. And this is, I think, why people have to just shred someone else literally to feel better about themselves and we know this but I don't think we understand the extent of why and I could probably talk more and more and more about this unfortunately this episode needs to end so please subscribe for more if you are interested in what I'm I'm having to say on this discussion also Follow me on almost any social media platform at Make Waves Coach. Follow me at Mermaid Cassandra also on almost any social media platform. You can um, check out my podcast, Make Waves Mermaid Cassandra, available every place podcasts are found. And also, if you are interested in booking a free discovery call with me to do some coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, Check off those New Year resolutions that you had that you are still struggling with, what, seven months now into the year. It's time to get going on those goals. <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. Go out there and make waves.